Hi, welcome back to Easy Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see singly circular linked list deletion entities. We will be seeing deletion at the beginning, middle and end. We will start with deletion at the beginning. So, as usual, we will compare singly linear linked list and circular linked list. Uh, here, we do not have any change at all. So, this is the code for both the things, the same code. So, what, how, what we will be doing? First, you will be having a pointer P and it will be pointing to the first node head. So, before deletion, you will move the head to the next node. Head is equal to head of next. Then you will delete P. So, only three lines are. So, P is equal to head. Head is equal to head of next free of P. So, why? Because if you are deleting this, the second node becomes the first node. After removal of this node, this will be the first node. So, head is equal to head of next you are giving. The same thing you can use for circular linked list also. Uh, why? Because when you are moving head is equal to head of next, automatically the 5001 will be changed with the new head's address 5021. So, in the memory, head is holding the address 5021. In all the code so far, we have written uh, the last node, how we will be writing? Suppose we are naming this node as P, P of next is equal to head like that only we are writing. So, when it is referring to head, automatically 5001 is changed as 5021. When you are uh, running the code again, the refreshment will be happening and the head will be invoked as 5021 automatically. So, you need not write a new code for deletion at the beginning. The same code you can use it for. The same code of the linear uh, list can be used for circular list. You do not have any change. The next one deletion at the middle. So, in the insertion at the middle itself we did not have any change in code. For deletion at the middle also we do not have any change. Because the end part or the starting part of the nodes are not affected. Only in the middle you are making changes. So, you do not have any change in the uh, deletion at the middle. The deletion at the middle for singly linear linked list in a separate video detailedly we saw with uh, visualization. So, if you want you can refer to that. The same code you can use for circular linked list also. The third one singly circular linked list uh, deletion at the end. So, end part you are making deletion obviously you will be having change. So, here uh, how in the linear linked list you will be having. So, you will have two nodes, uh, two pointers old and P. So, P will be pointing to the last node and uh, old will be pointing to the last but one node, the previous node of the last node that is last but one node. So, you will make like this. After uh, making this pointer setup, you will be uh, making alls next as null and you will be freeing the P or deleting the P. This is what you will do in the linear list. So, for a circular list also same thing you have to do. You have to make old and P pointing to the last and last but one node like this. Then here instead of making it as null, you have uh, making uh, alls next as null you have to make alls next as head. That is the change you are going to do. So, we will see the code. So, first uh, P is equal to old is equal to head we are making. Then uh, here in linear linked list, how will you reach the last node when P of next is not equal to null. Here while P of uh, next is not equal to null means linear list, circular means P of next is not equal to head. So, this is the first change you have to move. To make the pointers placed in the last and last but not, uh, repeatedly you have to move old and p. Old is equal to p, p is equal to p of next. So, old will jump to p, p will uh, jump to next of p. So, consecutively this will happen and at the end of the condition is met, old will be at the last but one place and p will be at the last place. Next, old of next is null, you will be doing in linear list. In circular list, you have to make old of next as head. Then you can delete. P. So, this is how you will be doing deletion at the end. Hope uh, you understood uh, singly circular linked list. So, if you are learning singly linear linked list and then coming to circular only, you will be able to follow correctly. Uh, else, you will be having some confusion. So, first thoroughly learn singly linear linked list. Write the code by yourself. See the visualization and write the code uh, by yourself and then come to circular link list. It will be very easy for you. Uh, do share the video with your juniors and friends. 
uh, like and subscribe to easy tutorial thanks for watching